All right, welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Good afternoon. Yeah! Early edition here in the afternoon. December 2012. Here with Squiggity Squig. What's happening, buddy? Hey, what's up, Foul Mouth Owl? Uh, you know, you know. Just another day in the studio. So, um... A lot of shit's been going on. A lot of shit's been happening in the world. The world's getting crazy out there. We've been working hard down here. Keeping the... Wheels turning. Who's that playing, Squig? Awake at last. Sexy. Awake at last. That Vince. <laughs> Vince is sexy, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's a sexy bastard. He's even more sexy with his hair cut off. Porcupine always looks better when you cut his head off. What happens, man? Why do people, um, what do we do to Vince? Why does Vince hate us? <laughs> I don't know. We didn't do I don't think he really to hates him. us. I really don't think that. I'm just joking because he's not been around. Yeah, I, well, I think he thinks that we are bullies. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. We're bullies. Because <laughs> we could do whatever we want. And I think he's like everybody else, though, like we were talking about earlier, and he hasn't seen exactly what we put out in those little video clips, because we didn't say do anything to embarrass him or anything, did we? Not at all. Maybe he's scared and doesn't want to watch him. Yeah, he, cause he said something that he was embarrassed by, and we didn't even release any of that. Nope. So, I mean... <laughs> It's like, you know, we honored his his official attention, you know, request and wishes, so. Yeah, which usually doesn't happen. Yeah. I mean, I, I've done that a handful of times for people that, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to destroy anybody's career. And yeah. Vince, what Vince said wasn't going to destroy any career. <laughs> Hell no, man. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. But that's okay, right? Anyway. Yeah. So it just helped create, what we did, I thought, helped create a little bit of a buzz and, and there was nothing bad about it. But anyway, I've been talking to their new bass player, Steven. He was actually on the show a little while ago. You know who I'm talking about? I've seen a picture of him. That's it. You didn't meet him? He came down here with uh, his band. or he, Well, he was just him. He had some other project going on. He still has a couple other projects. But he kept hitting me up saying, hey, man. I'm with this new band. We want to come down on the show. Wake at last. I was like, <laughs> I tried to talk to Eric and just and uh, not. Dude, I said Jesse, Eric and um, Vince to come on down, and uh, it just hasn't been working out for us. So sure. So hopefully we'll have them on the show soon. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, the Foul Mouth Owl Show is sponsored by ExploreDE.com, Delaware's first area guide for info on entertainment, food, fun events, and nightlife. ExploreDE.com is also a resource and an eye on Delaware for the rest of the world. So we had a music video lined up to do here tonight at the uh, studio or this afternoon, but that is fizzled out. Those guys are running late, so uh, we're not going to be doing that. That we had, sucks. had a handful of things to talk about. We're going to be talking about Artist of the Year nominations um, our other show has a sponsor. The Kia D Video Magazine now has a sponsor. The Sports Zone has decided to sponsor the Kia D Video Magazine. We're going to talk about that and what that, what's going to be happening with that. It's going to be pretty awesome. Sounds like it. Sounds um, like it. It seems like every time I turn around and people talk about how bad this show is, there's something worse on TV. There's constantly... People doing stuff over the freaking top that I would never, ever, ever consider doing on this. Yep. But because we're the foul mouth out show, people assume certain things. Is that Comedy Central? It, yeah, and even on regular TV, I was hearing the F word the other night, late night. So I did was, you? I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I heard it too. I mean, I don't even think we've cussed this whole time so far. We don't need to. That's right. So to hell with that. <laughs> that doesn't count, though, does it? No, it doesn't. That's not. right. Well. So anyway, talking about stuff that's over the top, a lot of things that come up are sexually oriented. Now we're going to start cussing. No, there's not going to be any cussing. I just wanted to run through the 10 weirdest sexual fetishes, okay? And uh, I'm going to give you the 
um, the term for the fetish, and I want you to try to guess what the fetish is. So we'll take these one at a time and we'll go through. No, number one, are you, gonna, are you ready with this? I'm are you ready. are you good at this stuff? Are you familiar? Do you have any sexual fetishes yourself, Squig? Um, yeah. You care to share them with the audience? Maybe at the end of the show. Maybe at the end of the show? Because it's going to be one of them I'm going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll have a new fetish. Yes. That's Maybe you can add for. one to your list. Well, me dating Amish and doing things with them doesn't... Dating the Amish? Yeah. They're like girls with a little rough and <laughs> tough and little dirt on them. <laughs> <laughs> a little what? <laughs> dirt, D- on dirt on them. <laughs> They got so much dirt on they look like mammy singers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Potato farmophilia, I guess. That's what it is. <laughs> Horse and buggy philia. <laughs> Why'd you say potatoes? Because <laughs> they grow into dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking Oh shoot! Sorry, that's I that's cut. actually I'm 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 gonna skip this segment because <laughs> that's better than any of the fetishes that are on here. <laughs> Horse and buggy, potato philia, <laughs> potato philia. That's a good one. Oh, potato philia. Is that where you make love to potatoes? <laughs> no, that's where you love the Amish. You make you you have a you have a obsession to have sex with Amish. I ain't left that hard in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? So here we go. <sighs> Acrotomophilia. Ooh. Acrotomophilia. To like, like smelly toes. To like smelly toes. Yeah. And um, that is incorrect, sir. That is a sexual attraction to amputees, specifically a their toe. stumps. Amputees. I know. You have to, you're attracted to an amputee, and particularly their stumps. Right? So I don't Rub know. that on my tank. <laughs> I listened to that episode the other day, Stan Tank Coming. That That's shit was good, funny. Man. Yeah, you got to check that out. Go back in the episodes a little bit and listen to Stan Tank Coming. It's a short, quick episode, but it's funny as hell. Yeah, it's great. The guy didn't know what his taint was. And he's a lot. He tried to lie. It's, it's hilarious. So, Squig, um, do you have any amputees in, in your uh, residential? Um, Immediate area? <laughs> nope. You, you don't live near any amputees? Yes. Do you get excited when you see them goodbye? Yeah, I run out there and put a um, a knit wool hat around the um, the, the, the stump. <laughs> Make sure it stays warm. Yeah. That's good. That's, that's nice. nice. That's nice. Everything that's got a round hump on it, I put a hat on it on them. All right, on to the next uh, fetish. How about furries? Are you familiar with furries? Yay. Like some- Animal transformation fetish is also known as furries, but it's, um, what is it an attraction to? Cats. <laughs> nope. Chinchillas? Nope. Squirrels? Nope. Furries. Furbies! <laughs> Close. Sexual attraction to anthrop. Anthropomorphic animal characters dressed up as stuffed st- or dressing up as stuffed animals or playing with stuffed animals. I seen that on Jerry Stinger, st- 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 Springer once. I used to hunt my Smurf doll when I was a kid. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just horny. I hunt my big G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe? It's better than Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf was soft. You're humping a fucking hard plastic toy. Mine was a Smurfette, by the way. Uh, no, mine was a G.I. Joe, a stuffed one. I stole it from the little girl down the street and started putting my painter on it. Yeah, but <laughs> mine was life-size because I was only five. It was a Smurfette with a haircut. <laughs> it was not Smurfette. It, it was, was Papa Smurf. It was Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking old man. Damn, I didn't know. I st- I, but I got it out of my system because I, I was like nine years old or six years old or whatever I was. I don't do that anymore. Because you don't have the Smurf no more. Well, some of these can be tough. Let's go to some of the easy ones. Some of these are pretty easy. Let's go to some of the easy ones. Maybe we can guess one here. Um, how about infantilism? Likes little kids? A child molester? <laughs> no. no <laughs> what no. the fuck? It's also known as adult babies. 
Oh, that's disgusting. Wiping the ass. Its desire to be treated as an infant or toddler can or cannot be sexual. Clean up, up the puke. There are estimated 100,000 adult <coughs> babies worldwide, <coughs> and one third of them are also diaper fetishists. And how um, how many of them are fat? Because usually you only see fat people to do that shit. Oh, it's baby fat. Yeah, hey, there you go. <laughs> That's why they do it. It's not real fat. I'm not fat. It's baby fat. Uh, oh, look, you look thinner. All right, here's another easy one. Panty fetish. Panty fetish. Allergic. <laughs> Allergic. What do you think that is, Squig? That means you like them panties. That's right. It's a sexual arousal mm, from panties. I'm a jet go. You know what they do in Japan? They have fucking vending machines that they sell school used schoolgirl panties in. Vending machines. They come out a little little plastic capsule. Keep them fresh. Keep them fresh. Yep, it keeps yeah. them fresh. Keeps them, keeps them stank. Does it come with a picture? It's disgusting. Does it come with a picture? I need a picture of what I'm stinking because I was fish hooked once. It depends. For 25 cents, you get this just the panties. For 50 cents, you get the panty and picture. For so, a dollar? 50 cents. It's 50 cents. I got I, 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 that to my lunch schedule. All right. Well, those are all the easy ones. <laughs> So let's go to on number uh, next one here. That's one, two, three, four. This is number five. Abasiophilia. 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 You like um, bases in baseball? And you like to feel them? It's a sexual attraction to those who have disabilities such as leg braces, cast crutches, wheelchairs. Ooh, I'd take Hook Man any day. He'd get to that spot. <laughs> Woo. He's a taint buster, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll slice it out. That's not good. Uh, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it's most common among those who were children in the 40s through the 60s during the heyday of polio. Polio, yes. <laughs> anyway... On to the next one. A crush fetish. Crush fetish. Uh, you like your, some girl to step on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Just smash your Jimmy. Is it? <laughs> no, it is uh, not. Smashing him between a hot dog roll. This is a fetish that will begin in childhood. It's a sexual arousal from crushing things like insects, frogs, rodents, <laughs> and <laughs> lizards. I'm smushing that bug. Yep. In 1999, the U.S. Congress criminalized the creation, sale, or possession of crush films depicting animal cruelty. That's, that's must have been a problem. Pretty messed up there. Must have been a problem. Ew. If I had a boner and I stepped on a cricket or something, it'd be gone. <laughs> it'd be gone. You'd be screaming like a bitch. <laughs> <wouldn't> you? <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? What's that? When, uh, when I was in the hospital... Um, I was sitting in the waiting room. It was jam-packed, crowded. And this nurse came around the corner. It was real spontaneous. And I didn't... It just happened. And uh, my whole family sitting there and everything. And she hits a bump, and she's pushing this cart with a computer on it. Uh, the black mouse falls onto the, the ground. I jump up in my seat and go, Ooh, a mouse! Boom. Everybody was bagging. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I wish I had that shit on tape. <laughs> Me too. You're over there screaming like a girl over a mouse. Yeah. Are you really afraid of mice? No. It was a. It wasn't a mouse. It was a computer mouse, and I acted like it was a real mouse. Right. Oh. But if a mouse was chasing me, growling and going, chuck, 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 I'd be running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I could stomp him or what. I'm gone. Dude, the bitch is the size of your big toe. <laughs> I don't give a shit if he's growling and shit. I'm gone. You could crush him with your foot. Yeah, I turn right into a, a Nancy boy. Yeah. <laughs> Running away. That's, so you got to crush him with your foot. That's a crush fetish. Dude, and then you get a big heart on. <laughs> oh, with your bare foot? I don't know if it has to be a bare foot. Just get off from crushing things like incense, rodents, lizards. Hey, look, I like to step on stink bugs. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> nah. How about the next one? Emetophilia. Emetophilia. As soon as that's Italian. As soon as you meet somebody, you start feeling them up. <laughs> Congratulations. Once again, you've got it wrong. Damn. 
It's a sexual arousal from vomiting or watching others vomit. Ew. Hurling. It makes me squirt, too, because I puke as soon as they do. Is that right? It's like a chain reaction. Uh-huh. I don't like that shit. <laughs> right? You're right. Right. How about a lunar? A lunar. Yep. A lunar. It's also known as a balloon fetish. Oh, you put a balloon up your ass and blow it up. <laughs> Or one of the animal long ones down your penis <laughs> and then blow that baby up. I've never heard of that, Mark. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Well, of course, I've never heard of most of this shit. Um, just, mine ain't made up. Of that is nothing nowhere near what it oh. is. So, It's a sexual arousal from inflating or popping balloons. <laughs> Some lunars simply enjoy the color and smell, touch, and movement. Of a balloon. Look, that son of a bitch can't go watch the fireworks because every time the firework goes off, he gets a boner. Popping. Why? What's that got to do? Oh, you think the, the noise? Yeah, popping. There's lots of balloons at the 4th of July, too. I think. So, I don't know. That's kind of strange. Friends could pl- play some good tricks on that bitch. We'll have to test the uh, models that come down from now on. We'll have to break out some balloons and see if... You know, we'll toss them around the, the the table and shit, and see if any of them seem to be getting stimulated. Yes. And we'll call them lunars. And we'll have our pictures on them. Yeah. Okay. We'll have them. We'll have them pictured as lunars. <laughs> lunar one, lunar two. <laughs> For mycophilia. For uh, mycophilia. Now here's an interesting one. You. You're never gonna get this. Yeah, I got it. What is it? You sleep with the cabinet guy. <laughs> I sleep with the cat that got on the countertop, the right? Micah countertop. <laughs> for mycophilia. Now, for mycophilia, and I'm no expert on any of this shit. Oh, there it is. I cussed. That you- Sexual arousal from insects crawling on your body. Insects crawling on your body. <laughs> that would never give me a boner. Would it? Would it? No. I bet you... If That'd I, freak you out worse than a mouse, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I bet you if I didn't take a bath for a while and uh, got all dirty and was outside naked, a fly landing on the hole would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> on what hole? <laughs> the patol. <laughs> Penis. Uh, your butthole. That's what you said. You said butthole. I got it. <laughs> Fucking make it perk. <laughs> he sucked that fly right in. <laughs> That's a new Venus fly trap. Yeah, wouldn't it? It's a squig fly trap. <laughs> Squiggy fly trap. I think we got a name for this episode. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. Squig McGee fly trap. <laughs> it's like an eye closing. It's Mark McGee in the squig fly trap. <coughs> Cocks and balls to y'all. Oh, God. <laughs> what else you got there, boy? All right, we got one more. <laughs> this is the last one. Number nine, or number ten. Hybristophilia. Hybristophilia. That means you love Jews. <laughs> Brisk. We'll give you another, no- another hint. It's also known as Bonnie and Clyde syndrome. Oh. That means when our little bo- our little Bonnie likes Booker T. <laughs> it's not Booker T. It's cooler or Shooter P. Shooter P. And Bo- or cooler T. Or- Booker T. <laughs> Shooter P. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's, now, that's what I say. You mean Ashley Smack him? Ashley Smack. Booker T. She always gets applause when you mention Ashley Smack. Ashley Smack. Crowd was starting to get out of control on that one. Yeah, there was a little too long. We're trying to do a show. Hybristophilia, Bonnie and Clyde syndrome, sexual attraction to criminals. Doreen sent fan mail to and eventually fell in love with serial killer Richard Ramirez while he was in prison. They eventually married in San Quentin State Prison. Cuckoo. And then she went home and he stayed in prison. Mm hmm. That's out of control. Um. Shit, I want that dick, but I don't want it every night. Uh. 
Hey, I hear Reese in the background. That is, Reese huh? is rocking out. Yeah. He wants to rock. So, that's a hell of an episode there. Hell of a segment there, Squig. What would you think of that segment there? That was fun. That was funny as shit. What was your favorite fetish? What's your favorite personal fetish you were going to tell us at the end of the segment there? Do you have a favorite? Do you have one better than that other than your, uh, you know, what you were talking about earlier? Just my phone. Every time I'm having sex, my phone's in my hand. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite porn site on the, on the phone? Give yeah. them a free plug. I don't know. Whatever I can think of is the internet. All right. Well, we're going to be doing some. Uh, What's your fetish? Fetish? I don't know that I necessarily have a fetish. Me too. I'm trying to think. I'll give it a second, but no. that's why I put it off earlier because I didn't. I can't think of none. I'm just a straight up mom. So, ladies, if you're out there, Squig needs uh, to figure out what his fetish is. So, if you want to come over his house and try something, what's your address, Squig? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking Squig needs oh, Squig needs some fetish action. Look, there he is. He had the first F word of the day. Damn. It's about god darn time. Ashley Smack. She was supposed to get in her claws. He's got some bad beats going with that rap. <laughs> the song just, it was perfect. That shit's crazy. That's sick. All right, well, I do want to mention uh, coming up February 9th, 2013 at the Sports Zone in Smyrna at 235 Stadium Street. Their website's sportzonede.com. Check them out. Uh, we're having the second annual... Pin-up contests. We're going to have some prizes this year that are going to be way better than last year. There's a $400 Visa gift card and a $100 photo shoot. Can first do- prize. That's first prize. is a $500 value. It's a $500 first prize. It's a $400 Visa cash gift card. So it's a gift card. It's just like cash. You can use it anywhere. It's a Visa awesome. card. And it's a $100 photo shoot. At our studio here, or possibly there's a local pinup f- uh, studio locally. There's a guy that does pinup, and he does a really good job. And we may have him in as a sponsor, and he may come in and do those um, some of those some of the pictures for us. And um, we might do the prizes at his studio if he wants to do them. Well, I might sign up. So when I find out, I'll be able to mention him and give him some promotion as well. I need some five hundred dollars. Are you gonna win, Squig? I might do this. You can do it. I might do this. You can do this. You can do this. I might do this. People will be in your corner. We're having celebrity judges this year, though. Like who? We're having Marshall Manlove from the Dungeon of Manlove show, and a world famous stage hypnotist. And also, we are having Renee Winner, yeah, a famous booking agent throughout the state and region. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, Quentin and Javon from the JQ Project. They're going to be celebrity judges. And I might have one more, but I don't have them locked in yet, so I can't mention them yet. Yeah. But we got some celebrity judges. It's going to be way fair. Last year, there were some discrepancies on how we did the judging. I tried to do it as fair as I could, but it doesn't always work out that way. So it's not my fault. I did the best I could with what I had. So this year it's going to be better. We have better prizes. There's going to be more people involved. And you're going to have to sign up early because last year the place was packed. We couldn't fit anybody else in. And we want to make sure that everybody that's there to participate, that they have a reservation to get in. So if you're going to be in the pinup contest this year, February 9th, 2013, at the Sport Zone in Smyrna, Please send us an email or hit, hit me with a message on Facebook. Ooh, that's at, nice. Just hit me directly at Foulmouth Al, my personal Foulmouth Al page on Facebook. Send me a message. Let me know you want to be in the pinup contest. Prior to the pinup contest, we are going to have a handful of photo shoots here at the studio. So uh, give us a call, and we'll get you scheduled in if you want to come in and do that. Get your pictures on the site. 
It'll be a lot of fun. Also, coming up this year, we are going to have an event with the Kiedy Video Magazine at the Sports Zone. And we have a sponsor for that program, which is obviously the Sports Zone. But they are allowing us to do this. And what this is going to do, Mark, this is going to give us a place to do the Foulmouth Owl Awards. Oh, awesome. Yes, that is awesome. awesome. The Foulmouth Owl Awards. We've been planning this for quite a while. It's going to happen here early this year. We've got some nominations for 2012, and we'll be given awards for 2012 and early 2013, possibly February or March. I ain't used to having this in my It's going to be February or March, guaranteed. Okay, so we have some uh, nominations for the rock category, and I want to talk about them right now. <laughs> Mark's been on hiatus with the studio, so this is all new to him, too. Yeah. So he doesn't know who any of the nominations are. Nope. So at this point, these are the nominations for the rock and roll category as far as local artists in the region and uh, rooting out and stemming from Delaware. Last year, the Found Out Thou show, we really didn't have awards, but we nominated an artist of the year that was uh, Lowdown. Lowdown 302. And uh, they are, they've been nominated again this year. So that's the first nomination I want to put out there this year. It's Lowdown 302. Um, the, next nominate, the next nominated band is ironically playing in the background right now. Awake at Last. Yeah. Is nominated for... Uh, band band of the year for the rock category for 2012 and the final nomination and this is after much thought and deliberation a lot of people pitched in on this it's the last Valorians <laughs> last Valorians out of Newark Delaware my boys so listen to the Found Out Thou show watch the page for the definite date, and then the next few weeks we will have a date for that. The rest of the holiday season that's coming up, we're going to be working hard on those schedules and locking in our events for 2013. It's going to be a great year for the Foulmouth Owl Show and for the studio and our new channel at ExploreDE.com. ExploreDE.com and the Kia D Video Magazine at The Zone every Wednesday, or uh, the last Wednesday of the month. We have different artists of all kinds each month. Brought to you by the Sports Zone and the shows can also be found all day long at ExploreDE.com. ExploreDE.com is Delaware's first area guide for info, entertainment, food, fun, events, and nightlife. ExploreDE.com is also a resource and an eye on Delaware for the rest of the world. So we also have at this time one other category which we can go ahead and talk about. All right. Um, which is the rap and hip hop. So we have two nominations so far, in all honesty. We, we've been having a hard time because of time restraints and assistance restraints here. But um, I have two nominations for Artist of the Year in the rap and hip hop category. And the first one is Mike Shane. Mike Shane, he's put out a handful of songs this year, and uh, one in particular is That Boy Good, and he did a great video with uh, video Mike Clarkson, and it was phenomenal. So, and it's he's really taken off with that song right now. He's got a good buzz going. Uh, in addition to that, uh, ever popular and rocking all the time, and kicking ass and taking names and always putting out new material is the guy that never stops is Reese. He's nominated this year. Reese. And uh, so when we do the Found Out Thou Awards, we will be announcing the winners of these. Again, it's going to be February or March for sure. I'm not sure exactly which month it's going to be, but it will be February or March. Cool. What about, what do they get? They get the uh, esteem of the award. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh. <laughs> 
They'll get to win a recording contract where they got to work for us for like slaves. No. Well, not. they get to stand up on we, stage with you. We never do that. We never do that. <laughs> but I just want to recognize these guys. I mean, that's all. That's all. I mean, I, I just want to recognize them. They need a, and they need a fucking prize too. And it, it, what I got to what do I got to do? How much do I got to shell out, Squig? Tell me. We can give them all a shiny quarter. One of the new ones that are shiny. Prizes provided by Squid, yes. <laughs> Thousands in prizes. Provided by Squig and company. <laughs> what, my dog ain't got no money? Ooh. Your dog is a donkey. <laughs> it's a whole crew of donkeys. <laughs> and a chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah, what's up with the monkey? Man, there's a lot of monkeys up in them trees. That's Vince from a wicked lad. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, anyway. <laughs> so, the Sports Zone Pinup Contest. Let's get back to that for a minute because I left something very important out. There is a very popular band that's going to be playing on that show. Yeah, one of my favorite. Coffin Fly at the pinup contest February 9th, 2013 at the Sports Zone in Smyrna. Coffin Fly is going to be there. We made a cool promotional video. Did you see any of that stuff, Mark? No. What are you off Facebook right now? No, I just don't go on it. You just don't go on it? Facebook so, break. Facebook break. <laughs> Goddamn Facebook. That shit kills. My cousin came up. He was all happy. Then all of a sudden, he started throwing a fit across the yard and because he was talking to his wife. Everything was cool. And he walked across the yard, and he was throwing a fit. I was like, man, what's wrong? He's like, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. they will get you. Facebook. Facebook, man. I got to move. I got to move. You got a place to stay, man. <laughs> oh, because of Facebook. You got a place I could stay? And I'm like, man, no. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you. I just can't help you right now. What, recently? Yeah. Happens all the time. Who are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying anybody's name. Yeah, I wouldn't. Didn't think you would. Here, write it down and slide me a piece of paper. Let me read it. Hold on, I'm busy with my hand. Right. Mike now. Sautarelli. <laughs> <laughs> That's salt. That's salt. <laughs> yeah, fill you full of lead. Lead. All right, so um, Sports Zone Pinup Contest, February 9, 2013. Celebrity judges, great prizes, and cough and fly. We're also at least going to have a DJ and possibly another band. I still got a little bit of time, but I need to get them booked in quick. If you want to play some rockabilly shit on the 9th of February, it's a Saturday night at the Sports Zone, just give me a shout. We're looking for another rockability type band. Come on out, have some fun. Yeah. Again, the Kitty Video Magazine will be at the Sport Zone the last Wednesday of the month. We'll have different kinds of artists of all kinds each month and brought to you by the Sport Zone. And the shows can be found all day long at explorede.com. That's www.explorede.com. Check it out. Check it out, folks. So what else is going on, Squig, in the world today? Uh, I hear Loner Eroded in the background. Yeah. They were an excellent band. News is sad. We'll change the subject. <laughs> All right. Wah. What in the hell? Where's my goddamn iTunes? Let's see what we got here, kids. How about this? Skip to the Reese. Reese loves life. You know, last year Reese put our put my picture on the cover of his album. I was yep. very I was very proud of that. With your sunglasses on. Yeah, I've been proud of that too. That's cool. I look at it every day. Do you? Yes. How's that? Why is that? So I can be reminded of you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The only picture I got. Go feed my cat, Mark. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> All right, well. My dog's been dead for a week. Nah, has it? Yeah, I'm trying to quit feeding him. Oh, Cooper? Yeah. He ain't dead yet, is he? Well, he's been eating kids. Kids? Kids and cats. You should just leave him outside. He'll go away and get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after a month, because he, you know how he is. He'll, He'll be like be this. You know what? Shit, it's cold. Screw this. It's cold enough. He'll be a stiff in the yard in a month. He'll be like... 
You can bring him back in and prop him up. But you already know he's a stiff in the yard because he's getting some action in my yard. What's he fucking in your yard? Your lawnmower? You said the F word. So that's you did it already once. Too. Fuck. Um, neighbor's dog keeps jumping in my yard. I don't understand. So he goes home with mayonnaise on his butt. <laughs> Ew, it's nasty. Cooper does everything that a man would do. Ew. Even licking that. Just like a dog. Oh, shit. All right. So Cooper's hooking up with the dog behind your house. Yeah. Nice little girl. You know, he likes her. It's all right with me. They can be together. What kind of dog is it? Some kind of black dog. Oh, he's into the blacks, huh? Yeah, he likes a little darker than him. Because he's Amish. <laughs> 